Hello, everyone. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, thank you for the here coming to this session. And uh, uh, this session is very short, and please stay in here <laughs> until this session. After the 10, we're going to do the additional lucky draw for the additional product. I'm going to explain the later. OK, uh, I'm going to start from about the presentation of the, this session. Mm. Title is that the, what if, if you are in the game? And I'm John Park from the Samsung Electronics. In this session, uh, I'm going to introduce that the ARMG SDK, and uh, I'm going to show the way of the very easiest way of the creating the game character with our uh, provided SDK. So uh, I'm going to start. Uh, entire content is just below. I'm going to start with the comment about the game and avatar, and uh, I'm going to introduce that the uh, AI emoji system as a uh, game avatar and uh, explaining about that uh, AI emoji ecosystem. And uh, I'm going to show the, some of the best case which are using that AI emoji SDK, and uh, I'm going to explain the how to use it and make them conclusion. Yeah, this is the, the screenshot of the most famous game. And uh, you know that most, game, most of the current game provide a complex avatar customization system. You just want that uh, our own avatar in that virtual environment. Interesting is that uh, we want that the uh, avatar is uh, similar to the, our face, but better than my face. <laughs> yeah, very complex one. <laughs> and also, you know that a lot of the dance or more the, some kind of the customization is uh, allowed in that the current game. So we want to change the costume, and we want to change the accessory or some applying the dance motion or some, something. And also, that's why that, uh, you just spend a lot, lot of time for the customization of the, their own game character. So I, sometimes I spend a lot of time for the changing the, my base or the hairstyle or something. That's why the game company and development, uh, developer have to spend a lot of time and money for the, implementing the entire complete avatar system. Mm, yeah, that's very. Uh, additional work is needed for the game company. It is very critical for the, some kind of small company, which is short, short shortage of the, some kind of the, uh, budget or something. But interesting is that the, even though with this kind of the very complex avatar system, making beautiful avatar is not so easy. <laughs> Sometimes we can. I uh, found uh, some of the various kind of the failure case in that uh, complex avatar system. And also this one. Actually, I like this game, and this game provides very, various kind of asset and various kind of the uh, modification system. It means that I can change the nose and the, the some kind of the face shape and the location of the eye or something. But I spent up the few hours of the creating the beautiful avatar, and it makes worse than the people. When we're choosing that, uh, some of the change of the shape, then it's getting worse and worse. Because I'm not a designer, and uh, uh, actually that most of the engineers have some of the worst choice when watching the customizing feature. Yeah, that's the problem. And uh, after the few hours of customization, I just use the default avatar instead of this. And I heard, I, I've heard that uh, many users have supposed that kind of problem, and they just use that kind of the code for the sharing the, some kind of beautiful avatar from that uh, sophisticated designer. So, yeah, making avatar and uh, creating, the implementing of the, this kind of complex avatar is a totally some kind of painful for the game company. So. I am introducing that the AI emoji application. This uh, AI emoji is introduced in the S, from the S9 and redesigned from the S10. Uh, we already got the, some kind of sophisticated customization feature with the, the face editing and skin color change and changing the hairstyle. And uh, we can apply the various kind of the asset, uh, in, like the closet and outfit, and et cetera. We are doing some of the making more asset, and that kind of the asset can be downloaded from the Galaxy, uh, Galaxy Store as a downloadable form. So, 
uh, with this kind of AI emoji, we can provide the AI emoji ecosystem. Sorry for the sharing like this, but <laughs> this camera application can capture the, our real human face and create the 3D avatar automatically that, that based on the real human. Maybe it's better than me, actually. And also, we can provide the full customization feature. Uh, I can change it, the, my tops and the shoes, like the, some of the better one. And uh, we can apply the additional accessory like the hats or hats, or the, we can change the glasses. And we can apply the earring, but I do not like earring. <laughs> and also, we're going to expand the kind of customized feature more and more as that. After the creation of the, this thing, the AI Emoji SDK can provide 3D asset to the third party company. This is the game screenshot from that uh, other third party company. Then you can find that the exactly the same other avatar is, can be used at the external game. That's the, what we call the, the AI Emoji Avatar ecosystem. By that uh, AI Emoji SDK, we can provide the entire pipeline for the creating avatar automatically and the customization in our app and export it to the sorry, third party company or some other apps and they can use that kind of game, the avatar as a game character. That's what I introduced in this session. Uh, actually, this kind of the application is already the tested in some kind of the prototype. Uh, we are collaborating with some kind of domestic game contest and a few games are already released in the Galaxy Store which we are using the AI Emoji SDK. And also, this kind of the SDK functionality already introduced in the past that the Indie Game Festival in this year. And we are also that the collaborating with the other external company which can use that kind of the AI Emoji SDK feature. This is the another best example I'm gonna share. This is that uh, emoji adventure game from that uh, Black River Studio. Uh, we can use that exactly the same avatar from that our emoji, then uh, we can do the, the sneaking around or some the uh, stealing something or some solving puzzle from that this, uh, from this, and uh, exactly the same that the customize the avatar from our side. So. This kind of game will be released in the Galaxy Store and the, the other, uh, other store release will be soon. Yeah, this is the, my favorite game. This is the You Fighter from the Tonk Tonk Studio. Uh, interesting is that the, this is the fighting game from that the avatar from real user. Uh, actually, hitting our other, other space is not allowed in that most of the company, <laughs> especially in Samsung. And in this game, we can create the, uh, my avatar and find some of the other avatar from the, the real human. Then instead of punching to real human, then we can punch and do the, some of the special tricks in front of them. This is fighting game. And uh, it might be interesting because the, the, we can set up the, some kind of the other space who do not like. And uh, we can do the, some kind of uh, special tricks, and uh, after the, some kind of iteration, we can do the, some the winning. I think that it may be uh, getting more some the interesting, I think. And after that, we can do the, some kind of hilarious victory posing in front of the him. So, uh, actually, I want to do the, some, a lot of things with this game, but uh, I cannot tell you exactly. So, <laughs> anyway, I just made it this game kind of game so badly. So this is best case. And uh, uh, this kind of the AI Emoji SDK is all, will be updated with the software update from that, uh, our devices. Already that the uh, S10 and the Note 10 device update will be uh, scheduled with you soon with uh, that update with the uh, Android 10 update with QoS, and uh, this kind of the AI Emoji SDK functionality will be included in this kind of update. Not only for the flagship device, we're gonna support for the HD device like that, the A30 and A50 or 70 or etc. So 
in most of the Galaxy device can use this kind of the AI emoji functionality. So that's why that we are introducing the kind of SDK in here, and we want to collaborate with other many kind of the uh, 3D, 3D apps which are using this kind of the uh, entire pipeline. Uh, and I want to the quickly introduce the how to use that. Uh, we need some kind of verification, but we established that the cloud-based verification system. So just to let us know that the name of the key, the M name and the key store, then we can do the, some of the other uh, verification process in our side. We, we are using the Samsung Cloud system for the verification. Then after the verification, we're gonna export the kind of the create the 3D avatar model to the device. And uh, third party company wants on the other uh, apps can be used that kind of the entire system. So this kind of the process can be found as some that the uh, full document which will be released in the, the SDK portal. And also we can provide the sample apps and et cetera. And we are doing some of the another code lab in here. So if you have any question or some the, if you want to experience the kind of the process, then just come to the code lab instead of a question in here. <laughs> anyway. And yeah, that's why that this is very short. So this conclusion, uh, we are establishing the AI Emoji SDK in here and will be released in the software update in the most of the Galaxy device. And uh, in, in order to use that kind of thing, then entire document and the sample apps and other support will be updated in the SDK, SDK portal. You can find in also in that code lab on, and also in that SDK portal session. We want to expand this kind of the entire pipeline to the various kind of apps, not only for the 3D party gaming. Then we're gonna collaborate with the other AR, VR apps, and we're gonna find some of the more the fascinating idea with collaborating this kind of the pipeline. Uh, not only for the third party company, and we are collaborating with the first party app image, the preview loaded app in the Samsung Galaxy device, and we are discussing about the calling applying that the VD call or contact or some of the big VR assistant or et cetera. We want to expand this kind of the pipeline to the uh, lot of the first type apps and a lot of the uh, third party apps in the future. That's why that we're gonna introduce in here. So that concludes my talk. And uh, if you have any question, come to the microphone. And if you have better, some of the sophisticated question or something, please come to the code lab. We gotta wait here for the, some kind of the very short and very good tutorial in, in order to using the kind of the, this SDK. Then you can create your own app in here. So that's uh, concluded my talk, and this is the best time for the lucky draw. <laughs> Actually, uh, I, heard, I heard that nobody introduced the kind of lucky draw. In our department, uh, learning the kind of four session about the game, game application and game booster and game dev and uh, AI image SDK and game performance index. All of session has another lucky draw, so you got the uh, ticket right. And uh, one, someone I gonna pick one, one, one person right, and uh, the winner will be get uh, some the Dota 10 device right here. Yeah, it's amazing. So uh, that concludes my talk. And we're gonna start the lucky draw. And uh, if you have any question, come to the microphone. Yeah, thank you for the session. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Uh, I hope that, 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 that nobody's trying to start asking question. Oh, that's good, and, but I'm gonna draw. This is not 10, so, yeah. Well, yeah, we don't get this device right here, so. <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> so we know is that uh, 84. 84? Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, please come here. What, what? <laughs> 
I, I have to take the picture because <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the listening. <laughs> it was very awkward. OK. Thank you for the hearing. And uh, as I said, please visit the code lab. OK, thank you.